Bring back for area problems. I'm going to solve area problems. Well, this, you know, just like we drew a picture for the rate distance time, I'm going to draw a picture for area problems. Um, that's what we're going to do. Here we go. Brick patio is twice as long as it is wide. Well, what should I do? Maybe I should draw a uh, brick patio. On a, uh, and it's bordered by, on all sides by a garden two meters wide. Okay, so I'm picturing this patio with a garden around it. I have to find the dimension of the patio if the area of the garden is 136 square feet. All right, so let's do it. Um, Again, I have this patio inside whose length is twice its width. So I can call this X. I can call this 2X, right? There's my patio, right? And it's bordered by a garden that's two meters wide. Okay, so I'm going to draw a garden around it. And this distance right here is 2 all around, right? That's two, and this part right here is two. This right here is two, and this part right here is two, right? All right, so if I'm, uh, I'm trying to figure this thing out, they gave me the, the, some information. They gave me the area of the garden. They gave me this non-shaded area. And if I look at these two shapes and say, hmm, what does that non-shaded area mean? It's, isn't that non-shaded area the area of the large rectangle minus this. Suppose I found this big area and I subtracted this guy. Wouldn't I just be left with the area of the um, garden? Yeah. So the area of the garden is the large rectangle minus the small rectangle will give me this. Right? The large rectangle minus the small rectangle will give me what I gives me this. That's a nice equation I can use because what I'm given is that. So there's my equation. So the area of the large rectangle is going to be what? Well, I have to find the dimensions of it. How do I find the dimensions? I look. I say, all right, I know from here to here is 2x. This must be 2x. I know this is 2, and this is 2. So this is 2x plus 2, and 2 is 4. Right? That's this side. Now this side here, I know this from here to here is x plus 2 plus 2. This is going to be x plus 4. So let's find the area of the large rectangle. It's going to be 2x plus 4 length times width, x plus 4. That should equal, oh sorry, not yet, minus the area of the small rectangle. The small rectangle is just x times 2x, which would be 2x squared. Should equal our 136. So let's do the algebra out instead of equal to 136. Well, 2x times x is... 2x squared, 2x times 4 is 8x, right, plus 4x, plus 16 minus 2x squared, right? Don't forget that minus 2x squared is going to equal 136. 2x squared cancel out. I end up with 8x plus 4x plus 16 equals 136, which is 12x plus 16 is 136. Subtract 16, I get 12x equals 120. X then must be 10. All right? There we go. Found my x. What am I trying to find, though? The dimensions of the patio. Well, the dimensions of the patio are 10 by 2 of those, 20. So 10 by 20 is my answer. 10 meters by 20 meters. Whoops, make sure you have those units in there. All right. Circular pool is surrounded by a walkway three meters wide. Ooh. Find the radius of the pool of the pool if the area of the walkway is 198. Again, we have the area of this walkway on the outside. They give they're given to you. So let's look at these. Um, let's do a circular R. I'm trying to find that R. I'm going to call it X because I like dealing with X's. I don't like drawing R. A circular pool is surrounded by a walkway three meters wide. So we know right from here to here is three. Um, and you're given this area here, the shaded area. You know what it is. I know that area is 198 meters squared. So I'm trying to think, what can I do geometrically to find the area of that? Couldn't I take the large circle and subtract? Suppose I had this large circle and I cut out, suppose I had a circle this size, and I cut out this inside. Wouldn't I be left with that ring or that um, walkway? Of course. So I'm going to do the large circle minus a small circle to give me what I know, 198. 
So what, what's the formula for circle? We know it's pi r squared, right? So I'm going to do, let's see, pi r squared. So what's the, let's just look at our small, this guy has a, the large circle has a different radius than the small circle, doesn't it? So what's the radius of this large circle? Because I want to do pi r squared minus pi r squared. So let's take a look at this, okay? That's equal 198 meters squared. So the radius of the large circle is x plus 3, right? Pi would be, I mean r would be, x plus 3. Minus the small guy, this would just be x. Equals 198 meters squared, right? Isn't that nice? All right, we're almost done. So, sorry, squared. So I have to square x plus 3. How do I do that? I don't square each one. I have to do the old x plus 3 times x plus 3, and I get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9, x squared plus 6x plus 9, right? All times pi. So what do we get here? Ready? Here we go. x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus pi x squared. This is all multiplied by pi. This is all multiplied by pi. Now, I think you can use, um, if I wanted to solve for, uh, we're trying to find this, we're going to, I think they give you in the book, so we'll use, I don't, I generally like to keep pi um, as, as pi. So, what I want to do here is bring well, let's use 22 over 7. That's what they actually use in the book, so let's do it. I don't like doing it, but we'll make that 22 over 7. Um, so pi, we're going to say use 22 over 7, so let's use that 22 over 7 here. Um, and we use this 22 over 7 here. And it's a nice, you can get rid of it really quick by multiplying both sides by its reciprocal. So over here we're going to have 198 times the reciprocal of that, 7 over 22. So I multiply each one of every term by 7 over 22, cancels out, right, cancels out, and over here I have that. So I end up with x squared plus 6x plus 9 minus x squared. The x squareds cancel out. So I get 6x, 6x plus 9 equals 198 times this thing. Now let's see, does 22 go into 198? It probably will. So let's double check. 22 goes into 198. Um, let's say... 9 times, 9 times 2 is 18, 9 times 8, 198, good, 9 times, so this becomes 9, 9 times 7 is 63. Subtract 9 from each side, I get 6x equals 54, so x ends up being, how many, 9, right? So I found that x is 9, so it says find the radius of the pool, well, x was the radius of the pool, therefore, x is 9, the radius is 9, 9 what, oh, wait, 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 meters, meters, there we go. All right, finally, one more problem here. We've got about a minute or two to do it. Corner lot that was originally a square lot, lot um, lost 185 square meters of area when one of the adjacent streets was widened by 3 meters and the other by 5 meters. Find the new dimensions of the lot. What's a corner lot? So it's a lot in the corner of a street. So here's a street. Suppose, like, these are, like, you know, these are streets, right? And it started out, there was a nice square corner lot, right? Which means it was originally, like, an X by, this was X, and this was x, right? This whole distance. Okay? And what happened is they widened one street three meters. Okay, so let's go like this. And we'll call this distance from here to here three. And they widened the other street five meters. We'll call this five. So let's, they're trying to say what happens. We lost 185 square meters of area. So what was lost was this is what was lost from their lawn, right? So you have to find the area of that. Can we find, what's the area of those guys? Well, let's see. Um, to find the area, I can find the area of these two little rectangles. I'm looking to find a formula. If I, this rectangle and then this rectangle here. So first, let's look at this guy. If I want to find the area of this guy, right? Isn't this 3 by x, right? This is x, this is x, this is 3. So the area of this guy is 3x. Now I need to find just this little piece right here, this little piece. Well, this, the distance of this little piece right here, if I pull it out, looks like this. Just like this guy over here was a tall guy, it looked like this. This was x by 3, 3x. Three yeah, this little piece was um, 5, but what's its width? Its width is going to be, this whole thing's x, and this piece is 3, x minus 3. So the area 